Well, good morning, everybody. Wow. Good morning. Thank you so much. That's pretty good for this early in the morning. Thank you guys very much. Uh, so what a warm welcome. I was saying to Chief Spaulding, I, you know, this is a pretty early conference for being down at the beach. You know, breakfast started at 6 a.m. We're getting started. You guys weren't out last night, hopefully. You know, everybody seemed like they're wide awake. You must have had some coffee. Uh, but uh, good morning, everyone. It really is wonderful to be here with you. Thank you, Chief Spaulding, for the kind introduction. It's, uh, it's an honor to uh, be able to come down here at Ocean City to speak this morning at, uh, at this annual training conference of the uh, MML Police Executive Association and to be among some of uh, the outstanding leaders of Maryland's law enforcement community. I can tell you that every single day uh, that I've served as governor. I have been immensely proud of all of our law enforcement officers, including those who serve in Maryland's 73 municipal police agencies. Everywhere I go, I stop and thank them and shake their hand in every town and every city, thank them for their service and what they do every single day. Uh, because our state and our nation owes a tremendous debt of gratitude uh, to all of you and to all of the brave, proud, members of the thin blue line who run toward the danger and adversity when others run away. Every single day, we rely on your dedication, your elite training, and your consistent preparation. And for eight, near, eight years now, our administration has strongly and consistently supported the law enforcement community with public safety initiatives that enable you to be able to do your jobs more effectively. We worked with you to uh, first enact and then expand tax cuts for the Hometown Heroes Act to provide much needed tax relief for our retired law enforcement officers and our firefighters and first responders. We invested in historic and well-deserved raises for police officers all across the state. We created a new uh, Maryland criminal intelligence network to collaborate with all of you in order to assist police and prosecutors in going after and taking down people who are responsible for so much of the violence. And I don't have to uh, tell any of you in this room that it is uh, an especially challenging time for members of law enforcement in our state and all across the nation. I can tell you in 2020 when the defund the police movement started gaining momentum, I was uh, one of the very first leaders in America to speak out loudly and clearly against and to completely reject the idea. You know, I, for what I've been saying for two years now, everywhere across the country, is that trying to reduce crime by defunding the police is dangerous, radical, far left lunacy. And thinking that you can improve law enforcement by taking money away from the police is like saying you want to improve education by defunding the schools. It's absurd. It's ridiculous. Homicides are surging across the country. There's violent crime waves in every major city. Law enforcement agencies nationwide, including I'm sure many of the departments that you lead, are struggling uh, to attract qualified candidates and many current officers are retiring and simply choosing to walk away from the profession. It couldn't possibly be a worse time uh, for anyone to call for defunding the police or for cutting public safety. Uh, the fact is that our police uh, are under attack, they're underfunded, uh, and to reverse the uh, tide of rising crime, we need to stop sabotaging and demonizing our dedicated men and women in law enforcement who put their lives on the line every single day for the rest of us uh, in order to keep us all safe. So instead of defunding the police, I said we were going to do just the opposite, that we were going to refund uh, the police. And that's exactly what we did this year. We introduced and successfully and unanimously passed through the legislature a $500 million, that's a half a billion dollars with a B, a refund the police initiative. and. Uh, provided increased support for state and local police uh, and increased uh, crime control and prevention protection services all across Maryland. 
The initiative included a 50% increase in state uh, police aid to local jurisdictions, historic salary increases and bonuses for law enforcement officers, uh, and to ensure you know, more competitive compensation and help with recruitment and retention. We had neighborhood safety grants to help uh, communities uh, support upgrades in hardware and lighting and cameras and increased security services for community organizations, business districts, main streets, uh, and to our fallen heroes. And uh, that was nice at the beginning here to recognize our more recent fallen heroes. You know, I was, uh, I've spent far too many times in, in a church or in a hall where I'm with a fallen police officer or firefighter and asked to give remarks. Um, you know, I'll never forget what that's like. Uh, and uh, to see, look out at a sea of blue and to see the kind of support, uh, the officers that show up, not just from uh, that, that fallen officer's department, but from across the state and across the country. Uh, and it's a special bond uh, people in law enforcement have, and it's one that we can't ever take for granted. You know, I've been to uh, too many of these funerals where, you know, for we, we go out there for the heroes who stand on the front lines to protect the rest of us, and, uh, but it also gives me a chance to, to see and thank the other officers that continue to do their job each and every day, even when they've got a loss of a friend. So in closing, I just want to uh, sincerely thank each and every one of you uh, for, for choosing to serve and protect the people of our state. And I can tell you that not a single day goes by when I'm not grateful for your service and uh, the sacrifices that you and your families make. And I want all of you uh, to know, each and every one of you, that uh, you will continue to have my full support, that I will continue to have your back and stand with you. And I just want to thank you for giving me the incredible uh, opportunity to serve as your governor for the past eight years. Um, it's been, uh, it's been uh, the, uh, the honor of a lifetime, and I wouldn't have been here without all of your support. Um, but may, may God bless and protect all of the leaders in this room and all of those who serve under you, and God bless our entire law enforcement community, and may God continue to bless the great state of Maryland. Thank you very much.